Hey guys, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Google Pixel 6, and what I want to talk about in this video is my thoughts on, you know, using this phone uh, now for several days, uh, and how that this phone compares to other Google phones and even other phones that I've had, but particularly Google phones. So the first, you know, Google phone that I ever had was the Nexus 6P. Now, Google had Huawei make that phone, and it was a well-built phone and a really nice phone. Um, and what was cool about the Nexus 6P was it had this kind of visor design on the back that the 6 Pixel 6 and 6 Pro have. And I really like this design. It obviously feels like a throwback to my Nexus 6P. Um, the other thing about the Nexus 6P was not only was the build quality really good, but it had really good screen calibration with the colors and whatnot. And I'm seeing that same thing here with the Pixel 6. It's just calibrated so well with the colors and just how the display looks. Um, and, you know, I the other two Google phones that I've had, I had the Pixel 3 XL, and then I also had the Pixel 3a XL. I had both of those phones. So I've had before this one three Google phones total, I believe. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. Um, but, you know, the Nexus 6P, while it was a great phone, one thing I ran into with that particular phone was I felt it had a lack of customization with the software. I think we were like Android Marshmallow, something like that back then. This was maybe, I don't know, 2014, 2015, somewhere in there. It's been a while. Uh, that phone I felt while it was good, I just kind of got bored with it because I felt that the software really wasn't there. And I think Google has obviously come a long way with their software improvement. Now, you know, I mean, just looking at how you can choose the highlight colors on your pull down menu here and just how it looks, especially in Android 12, I think it looks really good. Now, I am running Nova Launcher here. I do prefer to use Nova Launcher just to get that extra customization, but I feel like Google's come a significant uh, distance in getting the software to be more customizable and better on their phones um, versus like a Samsung you know, or something like that that's really customizable. Now, when I had the Google Pixel 3 XL, it had gotten, you know, a pretty substantial uh, betterment in the software customization by that point. It still wasn't quite where I would like to see it, but this is probably the first Pixel phone where I feel comfortable with where the software is at. I feel like I have enough customization here that I can daily drive this phone and not be lacking too much. Now we'll see if that, you know, initial thought I'm having holds up, but I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that that's where we seem to be here. Now, as I discussed in my likes video, uh, one great thing about the Pixel 6 here is this end display fingerprint reader. It is really good here. Um, you know, this is February of 2022 at the filming of this video. Perhaps there were issues at launch. I don't know because I just got the phone. But the, the fingerprint reader works 100% of the time. I mean, I know there were some people on YouTube that were dogging it, saying that it wasn't that good, that the 6 Pro was better, and the 6 Pro might be faster, but this is very accurate. It's not like lightning fast and unlocking, you could probably remove the animations and make it faster, but 
it works, guys. I mean, it is very accurate. So I'm not sure where that was coming from, or maybe it was rough at the beginning, but on mine, you know, and I have a screen protector on here. I have an IQ shield, which is a fairly, you know, substantial screen protector and it works fine. So, um, as far as, you know, comparing that with the Pixel 3 XL, really any of them, the, the Huawei Nexus 6P, I think, had it on the back here. It was, it was good. And then we had the Pixel 3 XL, which had a rock solid rear mounted fingerprint reader. We had, you know, the Pixel 3 uh, a XL, which was more of a mid-range phone, but it also had a rock solid, you know, fingerprint reader on the back. I've never had an issue with Google and fingerprint unlocking. So it kind of surprised me when I heard those initial uh, reviews that said it wasn't that good. Uh, but, you know, as far as I can tell, it's really good. So, um, you know, this phone feels like a Pixel phone. It feels even better than they have in the past because I feel like, like I was saying, Google's really up the software, at least in appearance and in some customization so that it, it just feels better to use. Um, and then, you know, build quality, I feel, has taken a step up as well. I feel like this has been the best built Pixel 6 or Pixel device that I've ever had, the Pixel 6 here. You know, the Huawei Nexus 6P build was nice. The Pixel 3 XL was pretty nice, but it still wasn't quite there, in my opinion, with, a, you know, a premium build quality. And obviously, the 3A XL that I had was a budget build, but it was nice for a budget build. But I feel like this phone, especially for $599, it just feels more expensive than that. You know, this feels like a premium phone in the hand. If somebody handed this phone to me and I didn't know what it cost, I'd probably guess $900 to $1,000 based on the build. Um, so, you know, it's it's a very well-built phone and it looks good. You know, I like the Google branding there, just simplistic. Like the visor because it's throwback to the Nexus 6P and because it doesn't look like any other phone on the market, right? It looks unique. It, it stands you out that, hey, I have a Pixel device. So, and then I like their design and that they've made it a squared off design, kind of like a Note 20, you know? It's, it's, it's very squared off. I prefer that, like my S21 Ultra, kind of has a little bit more of curved corners going on. I prefer the kind of brick square look. I feel like you just get a little bit more out of the screen that way. I feel like it just looks the best. And it's best for usability. I just like this design and how it looks. Um, and this phone too, to, to move away from the pixel realm for a second, it does remind me of my OnePlus 6 that I had. And that phone was the first phone that I ever reviewed on my channel. If you go back and watch those very first videos, it reminds me a lot of that phone because the OnePlus 6 also had a really good calibrated display. This display reminds me of the display on that phone. Uh, just really solid calibration, just really good display. And it had a rear mounted fingerprint reader too that was really fast and rock solid. But obviously this one is in the display, but as far as accuracy goes, it's in line with those phones. So it just, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of that phone for whatever reason, because this is a, a slightly smaller phone than like my S21 Ultra and my 
OnePlus 6 was a slightly smaller phone. So it just has, it kind of just brings me back to that phone. Uh, and that was a solid phone, one of my favorite phones. So anyway, guys, uh, after, you know, several days of usage, I'm really enjoying the Google Pixel 6 here, guys. So those are my thoughts and thinking about this phone versus my other Pixel phones and my OnePlus 6. So guys, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. As always, hitting that thumbs up button there helps out as well. But for now, guys, peace out.